her. The right season just won't be the same after Jim Carrey's Grinch invades Whoville. It's an incredible look behind the scenes of the star singing and dancing for our second E.T. First. With just two months until the Grinch steals Christmas, anticipation is running high. Bringing the Dr. Seuss classic to life may seem like a daunting prospect, but director Ron Howard says there was one big reason for making it. And the chance to, to, to work with Jim Carrey um, playing the Grinch was just, uh, you know, I mean, it was, it was a Christmas present. <laughs> we got a genius bringing the Grinch to life. It's all part of the plan. It took four hours in makeup to turn Jim into the Grinch, and he sings through it all, taking over the famous vocals done in the animated version by Thurl Ravenscroft. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. Ho ho! For a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You know, I just can't say enough about his incredible uh, imagination. We're also having a, uh, you know, a lot of fun creating a world in Whoville that's, that's, you know, that's pretty loopy. And living there is Cindy Lou Who, who is played by Taylor Momsen, who says there are a lot of Who's in Whoville besides Cindy Lou Who. There's Lou Lou Who, there's Betty Lou Who, there's Stu Lou Who and Drew Lou Who, and then there's Cindy Lou Who. There are jokes, there are bits. It has a heart, it has a mind, it has a point of view, uh, but it's, uh, it's, you know, it's there to laugh at. And it also had six dogs that played the part of Max, the Grinch's pooch. And all of them were rescued from shelters and ultimately adopted by crew members. Barry, I sat down with him for the news from the film. No one wants to screw this one up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, Dr. Seuss is cult. Almost lost my cool there. Jim endured 90 days in full makeup and bodysuit to bring his character to life, but he's not the only Grinch in the film. To explain how the Grinch got grumpy, there's a baby version, and there were plans for more. There was an adolescent Grinch at one point, you know? There was the kind of the rebel Grinch, you know? The faced yeah, teenage like Grinch. Our, our old Defonzi, you know? <laughs> kind of thing, Grinch. You know, we, was, we were even going to do a thing where, you know, I had the, uh, a comb and did this and like that kind of thing. <laughs> All right. You're a reindeer. Here's your motivation. Your name is Rudolph. You're a freak with a red nose and nobody likes you. Balancing Carrie's sense of humor with the classic Seuss tradition was the chore of director Ron Howard. Every day, I would be standing at the monitor watching a take unfold, and my jaw would drop. Action! Brilliant! You reject your own nose because it represents the glitter of commercialism. Why didn't I think of that? Cut, print, check the gate, moving on. You put so much of yourself into it. Yeah. You know, and you had to have crossed the line a lot. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's ripe, you know. I mean, yes, I'm, yeah. I'm freaking naked in the hair suit, <laughs> you know. And did that hair suit go over well with his sweetheart, Renee Zellweger? You never went home with the suit on to you see kidding? Renee or the never kid? took it off? <laughs> <laughs> did she ever see you in it? Oh, yeah. She saw me many times, yeah. She, yeah. Was, she, was, she was not impressed. <laughs> Jim told me that this has really been a great year for him. He's taken a lot of time off, and he's truly enjoyed it. Of course, he's spending a lot of that time off with his girlfriend, Renee. Carrie is giving the Grinch a royal debut. And tonight in London, Carrie was king. Queen Elizabeth attended the royal premiere of the Grinch, and Jim, who was accompanied by girlfriend Renee Zellweger, told us he had to follow royal protocol. You get a little sheet of paper, and it tells you, don't do this, don't do that. You know, it's, it basically says, Jim, don't act on instinct. Jim's co-star, little Taylor Momsen, spent the day with E.T. and showed us just how she perfected the curtsy that she had to do when meeting Her Majesty. Oh, I have to curtsy and then give her the flowers and say, ma'am. Oh, Jim's showing great self-control. You know, the Queen doesn't attend every big London premiere. She just wanted to see the Grinch. <laughs>